ಹೇಳಿ ಒಳಗು ಪುನಾಗೈತಿ ಫನಿ ಫನಿ ಸಾಮಿ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಎಕ್ಕಿಂದ It is locally understood, it is said that an animal that is like a region of a palm fruit, how is it going to be butchered? As we are indeed preparing for the great expected year, it behoves on us at this point in time to start preparing ourselves towards that great year expected. We have said that we have to be able to eat a ton and we have to be able to eat a ton and we have to be able to eat a ton. I have told you before now that that position is cleared. The stage has been cleared for the devoted children of God. And therefore I tell you that whoever comes here to save God, the Father, will be given his position. But another person that comes here to joke, to play about, will also be given his position. This is not a time for every, anybody to... to joke i tell you this love of our wine cup of our nikpa for it is said that a new wine has to be put into a new wine skin who can get me love of our wine zinga kanik ba zinga kanik ba nya nam so enye ye miru le for you cannot put in a new wine into an old wine skin any attempt to do that will cause such wine skin to be burst this is exactly what we are seeing now everyone you me Most, most of you do not know that you have consistently committed grave sins he knows crime for you to be called into this kingdom and not also adapting yourself to the expectations of this kingdom You have heard all the Gospels that are given day in day out here and as a matter of fact you have also not adapted yourself you have not abstained from eating of the fish meat committing fornication and adultery and other things that are taboos into this kingdom but yet you are claiming that you are here that is why I have affirmed the fact that you have committed heinous crime without you being conscious of that and I say and this is called in koinami it is that kind of attitude that is being said to be a deliberate act a deliberate act of malfeasance but in spite of these our celebrated mistakes and concupiscence god continues being patient being tolerant with us he does not see how we are falling short of his expectations but keeps tolerating our idiosyncrasies. Say, brother, that there are a million people who are here, brother. And you know, I mean, I'm the door. It's more than a thousand. In spite of the number of people that have been called into this kingdom, they are not up to a thousand yet that have yet accepted to solemnize their marriages. Say, say, every moon, I may go to the school and I may go to the school. ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಪೀಪ್ ಮೊಗೆಲ್ಲ ಮೊಗ್ಗ 
cause a distinction between the sheep and the goat. Some weeks ago, the disciples of Reverend Moon came here and testified. And they, in the course of their testimony, said, enumerated the number of people that have gotten baptized under him and the number that have solemnized their marriage under Reverend Moon. And as a matter of fact, Reverend, the number of brethren that are here in this kingdom, how many have yet accepted to <coughs> solemnize their marriages? Some have five wives, some have three, some two, some have remained without wives at all. Yet they keep making noise, claiming one title and the other unto themselves in this kingdom, when they have not done the real thing. And most, again, the other side of it, the children of the virgins here have accepted to abstain themselves from the things of the world, and have given themselves to complete service of the Father. Has this not opened your eyes to know exactly what is expected of this kingdom? And again, if you have claimed that you want to marry, have you made sure you have, you have caused your marriage to be solemnized, to be blessed? You have not cared to do this thing. That is why these things before now have not been taken very seriously. It is now being taken very seriously. I'm going to you know, separate the sheep from the goat so that you will know that no more joke anymore. For you to now claim that you are a president, you are a governor, you are a chairman, and this. All those nonsense has to stop henceforth. Enough, Lord Jesus Christ. I thank, I thank the Father immensely for endowing me with this perseverance that I have tolerated you over these years. Though of all the things you have done on me, I have tolerated those attitudes up till today. I did thank the Father. And therefore, at this point in time, seriousness has got to be brought into bear on the situation that whoever is not ready to practice the teachings, the injunctions given here will be given his position. The other person that shall be ready to adapt him or herself to the expectations of this kingdom will also be given his or her position. Right from next year, I'm meeting you. Don't be worried about the pronouncements you've heard today, because this is the package that was prepared and kept for today. And as a matter of fact, people have not known about brotherhood in its fullest perspective. And I assure you, from next year, everybody will have the consciousness or the true perspective about brotherhood. And even you, you will also know the understand the magnitude brotherhood shall take from next year. Here is another children with Tommy. We need to form one. You can't get a one. One can't get a man. You 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 เมนนําเดินไปสั่งอะไรคิดเจอมั้ยเนี่ยนมอสิงกันมาลิมิตอรุมาเดียฟอร์ออลเดออลไรอิมอยุมลีเรสิเดนต์เอมาอุกุกาก
I have tolerated your situation over the years because you have subjected me into continuous torture in the sense that I have been teaching you day in, day out. But none, not even one of you is ready to repent of his own old ways. But you continue to do these things. The other one calls himself a pastor. The other one calls himself an apostle. But all of these, none has accepted to abstain themselves from any form of sinfulness at all. They continue to wallow in these things day in, day out, without any recourse to the fact that the Father has preached against this attitude at all times. You also observe the other group, the virgins, the, those ones that have accepted to allow themselves to the service of God. But you can see the difference, that you that makes noise, that goes about fornicating, committing adultery, and concocting, doing one thing and the other, you that does these things, you can see how wrinkled your face has been. But these other ones that have abstained themselves from the things of the world, you can see how polished, how beautiful, how neat they are at all times. It is because the difference is clear. But no more will we tolerate those kinds of attitude. That those who claim you want to be called any name, you want to be called a governor, a president, and whatever name, that if you do not first of all adapt yourself to the expectation of this kingdom, you will be shown your way out. And again, look at the world, the entire world. The world, you will find out that even one pastor in the world, there is not even one that has not, you know, initiated himself in the society. That's why when you go out there, the people of the world will tell you, why do you bother yourself about brotherhood? After all, every church is one. It is not so. It is because they themselves cannot adapt themselves to the teachings we receive here in this kingdom. That's why they continue to dissuade you against anything. And again, I have told you that I never came in here to establish a church. But I came in here to open a new world, a new world order, so that everybody will be able to live peaceably according to the injunctions of God. But no one has yet accepted to practice these injunctions. So right down from the highest hierarchy of the Pope and to the last person, not even one person has yet accepted to you know, practice the teachings of God as enunciated in the scripture. And therefore, if you would want to remain here, it behoves you to be very serious because the time is apt for everybody to be serious in all ramifications. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Go Luke 20, verse 35 to 38. Let it be read from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 20, verses 35 through 38. What do you want to say? I find it was here. It will be a fat, a chorus, what is some? It will be a prayer. Eri ama eri moi mi eri ba dete moi do ni ele yoku yeri seke mpa moi do ondo yui da moi no kendo koro mo mi kama kendi papa koro mo eri kamu kamu ye me angel inwe eri nito abas si amu eri nito eri se eri ipa Moses etun cable inwe emi osure osure choro abanga karami mi okode Jehovah ite. Abasi Abraham, Yabasi Isaac, Yabasi Jacob, Yeri Abasi Mapampa, Eri Eri Abasi Moduwem, Guru, Bo Kurowo, Eruwem, Enoye. Amen. Our first reference is taken from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 20, reading from verse 35 to 38. But they we shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead. Neither marry nor are given in marriage. Neither can they die any more, for they are equal unto the angels and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. Now that the dead are raised, even Moses showed at the bush when he called the Lord the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. For he is not the God of the dead, but of the living. For all live unto him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
told us that I am not the God of the dead but that of the living. You can now understand the import of what we are writing. Can you understand the paradox in this situation that if the people that existed in the days of Moses perpetrated what he knew as acts, that same acts extended to the days of our Lord Jesus Christ and even up till today, then what do you understand now that the Father has come himself sending no one? What then do you think is the meaning of their coming? Come back then, you do the no fair in my mind, my Brethren, you now claim you are of the of Christ. This other one will claim he belongs to this. But then the truth is that what do does all these things mean? Because as a matter of fact, it has been enunciated that those who shall be accounted worthy to inherit this kingdom neither give in marriage or accept to be married. They stay celibate and chest. Send in Revelation 14, verse 1 to 7. Let it be read also from Revelation chapter 14, verses 4 through 7. 1, One to 7. One to seven. 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 Thousand of we care ye by ye now, any one day ye ye. One more make away the young S ye can ye. One more make away the young S ye, ye ye a taste ye a couple so more. The uncle will yom your toilet heaven, every year you are more. On your object, who your uncle's on a boma. Who your own cobbler. On your attend to your mare, Abraham, and may bread a quark a half more. The end more for a quark, and may tell in the roof a quark is so ebbed. Ye kiso mpo wemina oro ye mbi owo baba wo ke inyu ike meke ni pe ikwo oro ke mi bo oke thousand of we ke ya ba yina ba moro e ke paradisio kiso mo mi edi owo mi mi ke sa makere idem yiban koro mo mi kodo ondo e mi edi mo mi etin de yen ron e ka otonte yen akaka e ke fa mo esi okotu owo at the Moya Pamboom and Obasi, Ye Yenero, Yero Weekwem Mo, Abia Kinoa, Moyu Yenekendo, I can put any elephant, a perfect care for the young, Emmy Yere, Sissy Gospel, at a quarry no more, Emmy Dundi Kisson, Ye Cook Ridut, Ye Sien, you send, you view, Yen Yodo, Cocosom, you etter, Mufo Etanabas, and you know, and you go, Coro came in Equestia. And you want to have a young Yemi, Okobo de Yong, Yisong, Yia, Yidamong. I mean, can you have a Jesus Christ? Our second witness is the Come out to wait at that walk. The Mogu Italy, the very literary halfway. Okay. I can bring you along with any little Yana, Akba, Etienne Kaden, or the hotel. Babylon, a qua bureau, or more war, or more war, any Akanam de Kukru Midut, and one, one if reset, who says here. I can bend your own when Emmy Edidam, or Yorita, Etienne Mon, or you want to walk across on your tail. Ediaco water reboot on Unamuru, Yem Yeresia, or you want to read your own, Kapoisu, Me, Mercubo, and Yende Yang Wong, one if reset Rabas. Emi Eberde, and an ambom, ke cop, yarestresia, and yung etore, and yaki kang, ye brimstone, 
kiso nti angel ye kiso eyenero ndien nsumika ndutu amọ eyedo kensinsi mo yinwe ko kendo oruru ke wewe yo ye ko ne yo ba mo ke etwarde ibo eno una moru ye mbere sie yo wo ke ri ke obore idi ngo enyin sie mi ke nkut ime nti korabasi ba mo mi enem de mbarabasi enyin we bo de idem de jesus Amen. Can you have one with Jesus Christ? Say it! Amen! Amen. 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 Oh, who got given? 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 From verse 43 to 50. Let it be read from St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 13, verses 47 to 50. 43 to 50. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm good at the name of the king. I'm going to go to 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 the king. Of you go heaven a bit, you know, the king one from your work here, good day, a minute, the kid that is here, a cock and a book of saying, and I did, and every one of you go, of you go heaven, I did a woe, a woe rock, a young day, and the young, and the young peer, and then can you make a good peer, kids, and you put there a comora, a cock and a book of saying, and I did. And a pillar, who go to warm heaven, I be a year, a cave or a Kenya, and then you among the four Puru, a yap, Kenny, a yard, a dray, a dog, a dray, a doctor, a dray, a doctor, a soiled chair, a tongue, a tongue, she found a dog, 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 a Aye, wong aje, aje jangan aje, mana bro bro, esok betul ni, esok yang di mana tu? Aye, wong aje wong muka aku ikan, aye, aye wong aje wong muka aku ikan aje sah, dok eri tua ye, eri tua eri eri, amen. Aye, wong aje nanti susah. Amen. Hah, agak agak. Aye, aye wong aje 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 wong our third witness is from St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 13, reading from... Kondien, ilam kwa minya kudemi, ofri nore yime meriri nore nyine de kuku, eli kabana, ikwami. Obofanyong yon, obofanyong yon, kuku mbukumi, nyeko yon giko wetube miyo, se, second Peter, chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. All these things that are read, I'm sure you all can also find these things in your Bible, so that this informs you that you must not joke with whatever you have heard today. All the expectations the world have had over the years is about this period, the new heaven and the new earth, which is about to be revealed on you. And so that let it be read from, from First Peter, Second Peter chapter 3, Verses 14, 13 and 14, please. Would you have a repeat? I will see that. I found it considered time for this one. It's my And from the end, when I know for some of you, okay, it's here came in an undoing, and when I do, can you see? Amen. I want to tell you something. Our witness comes from Second Peter chapter 3, reading at verse 13 to 14. Nevertheless, read. According to his promise, looking for new heaven and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be, be delight, be diligent, that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Send so, then, uh, first Peter, uh, Luke, Luke chapter 5, from verse 30. 34 to the end. Let it also further be confirmed 
from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 34 to the end. Can you see the problem that is that a lot of you that have been saturated with the old wine, you have still found it very, very difficult to adapt yourself to the teachings. But wait, who let us see who whose cock shall crow at the dawn of the day. Our faith witness recorded the gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 5, verse 34 through the end. And he said unto them, Can you see your initial problems before God? for seriousness and indeed when I look around the world I take pity of the world because of the things they do I don't even want to talk about these ones the so-called church founders the swindlers because they have swindled they have done everything in the name of God to swindle people and I don't want yet to face them and then what about you as a brotherhood member 
Have you not also been seen perpetrating this act day in, day out? It is a commonplace issue for anybody to come around and to tell you, after all, your fellow member is, was caught committing fornication, committing adultery, snuffing, drinking. You've known about it. But yet, does it mean that you that is perpetrating this act, that you have not been made to understand the truth, that you should have not done these things? Have you not been told about these things? You have been told. It means you are deliberately doing these things to suit your own whims and caprices. That is why these songs have been sung unto you further so that you would hear. The first one has told you clearly that that statement that which was said that he was coming, that he is, the time is not known, that the time has come for him to come surreptitiously as he has said. The second song has told us that we should be ready that the Lord cometh. Because whatever a man sows, same shall he reap. This calls for you to be serious in order that you will be asked to take account as talk of anything you have been doing over the years. Send in John 10 from verse 1 to 2. From verse 1 to 4. What? I see. So that is. Let it be read also from St. John's Gospel, chapter 1. Chapter 10, rather, from verse 1 through 30. Yeah. Let me read. Where John, you both is here, 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 Kenyama, because you are a poor man, a wrong, a sermon, and you have a son, Meron, and you met in a year, got a more, a young one, who you see, Eddie Moy, Tenneke, a son of Eddie, a year from a poor man, got a more medium care, who you send a woo, just so to care, a mion or more. Eddie Moy, if you can say, call me, and yet and there, yet more world. Mother Jesus, or Tom Hunter, or the one more day. Kakwani ko kendo wa mufu. Amini inu atube ron. Wukuro weke bende miso. Edi. Edi ino. Yembonu. Uwo. Edi mero wiko kemo wiyo. 419. Amini inu atope. Edi yoko weke edi ebe de mi oru. Enye yoko edi yam. Iebe yu nwebe oru. Unwebe oworo. Oko sari ade. Ino yu yake mi bongo kema no yu. Unwebe oru. Unwebe oru. Unwebe oru. Amini keri manu mo yenu wem. Et vous avez dit que 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 vous Amin di eti e kwe meron. Mon fok sinye nene mi. Sinye nene mi onyou of yok mi. Ban te te. Of yok de mi. Amin yon fok de te. Mon yon yak kwe mi. Ndwa ke ibo de meron. Mon yon yene meron e wen. E mi mi to wakon fok e ron e mi. Nye nene dam mon kondi. Gen mon e yoko kuyo mi. Gen mon e kabade di. O tuwe ron ke. E kwe meron ke. E yon yon yon. Emi esen ne tiama mi, kura mi nyangu we mi nduwa, man kwa tongon tango nda, owo baba kye, ibo wa mi uwe mi, eri ami kile mi, nya uwe mi, nduwa, menyo nuludu, ndi ya uwe mi, nduwa, mwenye mwenye nuludu, itongon tango uwe mi, nda, mkobo iteme mi, kogo iteme, ubaro tongon tango, utumake, utumyo ju, kabanga mi kwa emi, eri wa mwa ite, Enye nye ne demo, ida ronyi mwana menye, nsi na mbufu eko biko esye, mwa eke nete, enye diwa iko, emi hiliki iko wu, eke nye ne demo, nte demo nne kama nita, owo na nene nene, eke mbu, osumi ni usoro, edi na mtempo, asa nake, Jeruzali, edi ni upo, dia nchizes, asa nake, tempo, ketege solom, ntureke mbuju, edi kane yeko, Ete, enye, adama di diye ka fwe di nam nyen ita ke jike, e diye ka fwe di de Christ, teng mwanyen, wang yi wang, jyo so boron mwa ite, 
manteng non bufu dien bu finum kaka paniko mutu meke aminam de kenyin etem edin tien senomi edin bu finum kaka paniko kurum bufu midge ke utuerom merom mi ekop mi uyu ami monyu fyo mo monyu etenemi ami nyum no mo sinsiwa dien mo edi take ken sinsi baba wo kiri ni wi wa makere mo isio mi ka ubok etemi akaya mo ono mi omo yun okona kan ukuru gen baba wo ke kama ke ni wa wa le monsio etemi ka ubok ami etemi di ke amen obo ngoli omo etemi se no amen a witness is taken from of course wa basi ana fo ke yo of course mo fam de boku o nu ti tak John chapter 10 verse 1 to 30 Our brother sheep outside we must bring them in wa a shiba St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, verses 19 through 20. Well, Matthew, you're going to see two of them. You're going to see a friend of mine. I'm going to see a friend of mine. I'm going to see a friend of mine. And you want to see a friend of mine. And you're going to see a friend of mine. And you're going to see a friend of mine. And you want to see a friend of mine. And you're going to see a friend of mine. Corona mo fonte e die ke ri ni do mo fu mi kan ke e ke me scrap ye me farisi mo furi do ke ko bio bon heaven amen ke nga bon jesus right amen a seven weakness is drawn from st matthew gospel chapter 5 verse 19 and 20 whosoever therefore shall break one of these leaves commandment and shall teach men so He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do the, do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Good Matthew 24, verse. 21 28 Matthew 24 verses 21 through 28 should be read also God's in the Matthew word You will see it be now 21 to 28 You will see it be now fancy it be a kid as it be chai ta koro kinero akwa kure yelu aruwa ga kana na miduwa tutu ga ri to hore ni mbut tutu osima mi Again, meeting you with Waba. Then came me by the me by Sweke, Mabusena, Mugo, Baba, Woke, Waba, Oke, and the Caban de Marie Corabas, the Yes of Mabusena, Mugo. I came a work already, a mad or Mufote, says a Christ, Mommy, Ma, and your mommy, a Kunam, Tapanico, Guru, my Christ, and so, him a providence, a Yerada, 
This is to inform you that this is a new world. That the old system has since passed away. And therefore, if you had never been serious, be serious over everything here. Nowadays, if you look around the world, those old practices are no more in vogue. Diabolical practices are no more. Fornication and adultery are no more in vogue. Those old things are no more in vogue. Here in this kingdom, you, what you are told is that love one another prevails here. And then people out there in the world have heard about this kingdom, and it has pleased to find that most myriads of them are going to be brought into this kingdom so that they will come and to serve the Father. And so that there is no time for anybody to be tied to the apron strings of anything. This is the time liberty has been given to everybody. Love one another is the practice here in this kingdom. No serious attachment is now being attached to ordination as people have before now been taking it. But now it is liberty, love one another, and love and let love is the practice here in this kingdom. And therefore, take everything as seriously as you have been made to know. You are only to be a husband to one wife, a wife only to one husband. If you cannot do this, then you can stay celibate. There is no problem at all. But then the time has come for people to be given their own positions, to be shared into their own various tabernacles in this kingdom. Nobody is going to send you packing. Nobody is going to ask you to remain. But your work will identify who you are. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. 
that is why that song has told us that the door of liberty was closed against my children and now they were condemned and convicted. It was in this premise that I have come to set my ship free. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Baptism. All secrets are withdrawn automatically. Say to the expectations of God. It is high time you forsook those attitudes. Because if you were a member of the secret society, by now abandon those kinds of practices. If you were a fornicator, forget about your fornication. If you were seen to be an adulterer, abstain yourself from adultery. And whatever you had been known to be doing that had been inimical to the expectations of God, it is high time you forsook those attitudes. Because I have come to actually interpret your judgment according to whatever you have been known to be doing. I have told you that that is why that song has been sung. That I have washed my hands, I have washed my feet. That those old practices I have been known to be practicing in the world, now I am with the Father. Now that the Father has called you unto himself, it behoves you to turn a new leaf. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. confirmed all that we have told you that the kingdom of God suffers violence and therefore strive as much as possible to inherit the kingdom that is the first song that has just been sung the second one has told us very clearly that in my attempt to relax I cannot 
in my attempt to do anything I cannot because of the joy of Olumba that has inundated my heart. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Say I'm in Jerusalem. Say me. There is no scratch in my body. Smile. Can and not. He won't go. He said, man, I'm sure. For the brotherhood, he remember. We give them, take them. Brother Brother, have you known these truths now? I'm on a Everything <laughs> Ah, I have. Brethren, I as the leader, a paragon of virtue, an example I have showed myself. If you look around my body, you will never see any incision at all. Neither will you find anything like needle prints. You will never find it. But your case is different. You are professing to that I am your leader. You do not want to emulate me. You visit the hospitals. You visit infirmaries, you visit all sorts of places. And I don't want to disgrace you, otherwise I would have mentioned the various societies you belong. You keep maintaining your membership till today. Why are you doing this thing? You are saying, heavens help those who help themselves. It is as a result of all these things, your indulgence in all these nefarious practices that has brought untold problems, untold hardship, dry-handedness, sicknesses, Poverty, impoverishment unto yourselves. It is because you have been identified with these things. By now, the whole world have burned that eloquent testimony that Brother of Cross and Star is that new kingdom. And what constitutes the new kingdom is the love that is practiced here. Here, no loneliness is here. Here, no egalitarianism is what is practiced here. Equality, love for one another is a thing that is being practiced here. Nobody claims anything unto himself for any reason. It is love that I have introduced. It is love I have brought you into, which I have told you must be practiced here, hook, line, and sinker. Any point in time you derail from the expectations of God, that is when you have problem. Your problem, your poverty, your impoverishment is as a result of you going to do those things that are seen to be taboo before God. This is exactly why you suffer. But anybody who abstains from all these problems, all these cases that have been enumerated, has nothing to complain about. If you watch the father at all times, the father is never exasperated. No matter what you do to the father, he's, he does not abuse, he does not curse. No matter what you people do, he is ever happy, ever joyful, ever praising. He blesses at all times. This is exactly what I expect you to do at all times in order for you to remain in this new kingdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The first lesson. I'm going to go to the 
Minyo nunge yeke idem. Banyo mfle kese. Tulesi ole miefe. Fika makani na mbaba nkoke. Diego wongi nunge mike idem. Isi o yefe mte nko. Enyo nyo aka barasa. Ndine kan menko olu. Isi nke ikan. Inwe fok mo. Aha. Oba wongi 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 I'm <laughs> <laughs> Our first Bible reading was an extract from St. John's Gospel, chapter 15, reading from verse 5 to 6. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me he can do nothing. I, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as the branch, and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Now, brethren, you've heard what is read to you. I don't want any one of you to now complain that I am suffering from lack of blood. I'm suffering from issue of blood. Whatever has been your complaint, such should stop. Since you are in me, you lack nothing as of now. Since, I, since he has come and has provided you, aided you with everything. And therefore you have no problem as long as you continue to remain under the umbrella of the Father. Only those who are outside have problems. Somebody comes and tells you, I don't belong to brotherhood again. Tell him, watch that person, observe him very closely. He will, he will dehydrate. He will never sprout any further because he has been suffered from the main trunk of the tree. How can he exist? And therefore, as long as you continue to remain under the Father, you have no cause to complain. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I have so many testimonies to give to us, I mean, as a corroboration to these facts. The Father God has called you and has washed you clean, and you have gone down to wallow in the mud once again. As of this moment in time, brethren, all that have constituted your problems, your catastrophes in life, all that have been your life encumbrances, Right now, the Father has taken away those problems. Amen. You were complaining of any form of lack, of money, of good health, of anything whatsoever. Whatever has been the sickness you have had in you, right now, believe that the Father has taken away those problems from you. Amen. The only thing he has left to, to, to sojourn around you is this unfathomable love. The love that shall last forever. He will not allow you to have any problem he has allowed you to be sustained in joy and joy and joy forever. Yes. Let the second lesson be read. Amen. Can you all Jesus? Amen. 
The world is set at liberty today. And all that has been the problems that have beset you, right now the Father has solved all those problems. Brethren, you have no problem. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Your testimonies are filled today. And those of you that have left sick ones at home, those of you that have had one form of problem and the other at home, whatever has constituted your problems, you, if you were ill, you were sick, you will now be as free as air and you will be able to run freely without any form of encumbrances. In so far as you have believed the Father, whoever believes in him has no cause to see any shame. And therefore at this point in time, the Father has come and to set you free. Your testimony starts right from here. And therefore, you are with the Father at all times. Those who are with the Father will never see any form of shame. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our second Bible lesson once again is recorded. The Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 5 and 6. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Nicobitem. Nicobitem. whatsoever. Whatever you have complained of, no more should you complain of those things anymore. As long as you are with your father, indeed, your father is the fountain of all things. The fountain of good health, the fountain of knowledge, the fountain of strength, the fountain of everything. Why do you remain here and ever continue to complain when you are under the umbrella of your father? The world have even taken cognizance of this truth that the Father is capable of bestowing everything unto us. But then the only problem is that they cannot come in here because they cannot afford to be baptized the second time. That is their problem. And they continue to remain in their problems, in their tribulation. But here, as long as you know you are with your Father, you have no reason to complain whatsoever for anything. Because the Father is all sufficient. He provides you of anything, whatever you has been your heart desires over the years. 
Right now, believe that the Father has given to you everything. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Say, I will come. I will Darkness has been sent in your workplaces, your employees, the Father has promoted you double. All that has constituted any problem, any form of thing that has brought about fear, the Father has expunged every form of fear from you. At this point in time, let the golden text be read. Golden text to the Mark Young Kekan. I had it just first, uh, Second John, verse nine. Second John, chapter one, verse nine is a golden text. Really, I can let you look at. We are not going to join the police here, kids. Hmm. Da. We are going to go to the market. We are going to go to the market. We are going to go to the market. We are going to go to the Our golden test is drawn from the second epistle general of John, chapter 1, verse 9. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ, had not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he had both the Father and the Son. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. But for the world, I am working in Tense. Cow in Bagago, King Nombaku, a friend, a gang in Namsu. There, my monk was in this book. I tell you, I say, I would leave him in the leader, I ran the navy, I ran for me, Because in Yanaki, a beautiful man for a man, Mao Swafu, good to go. You know, work at the academy for a game. And you never see. Oh, my God, man. And you never see. 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 You never You look around the world and the church denominations, you will find that they are not being tied to the apron strings of the teachings of our Lord Jesus the Christ. They don't preach love. All that I, they are interested with is the, mean, the Old Testament, the nominations there, and the gospel of retaliation, which they practice at all times. But wherever love is found, there you find God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The whole world over the years had been misled. And they never knew their way out of the quagmire they found themselves. If I had not come, no redemption would have been given to the world. And so through my coming into this world, redemption has been given to the entire world. Therefore, freedom, love, and everything is, has been given unto the entire world. So that since love is here, doing everything in our time, in our midst, then we have no problem abs oh, absolutely. Because love has done everything, has perfected all situations for us. And therefore, we have no reason to complain. We have no problems whatsoever since we are being tied to the proceedings of love and with the Father at all times. <laughs> Okay. 
Mammy, I see no question. Now, my man, Mammy, I walk at Pong, Moon Pa, Moon Any, we need join on Moon Sign. Okay, I I can't Everywhere <laughs> So <laughs> I <laughs> Il ne me sait pas de la Il y a ce que je veux dire. Je veux dire, 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 so Christ is my thing. I said, you heard the song that was sung, that the door of liberty was closed against my elects and they were condemned. It was for their sake I came so that I, shall, I could set them free. The second one has told us in Biakban dialect and interpreted doors that the Father Olumba has opened a way of our salvation towards heaven. And then if, now that you have to chart your own course of salvation, it is left unto you to do it, to take a decision now that fits, befits yourself. For as a matter of fact, if you do not do it, you have yourself to blame. If you were identified with evil practices, concocting, abstain from it. If you were known to be begrudging people, vindictive, unforgiving, do not do those things again. Because the time of God's judgment has come, it is up to you to take a decision. And the children of God have been brought in here. We are all the children of God being brought from everywhere and now importance and emphasis has been attached to marriage blessing if you not do it it identifies you as a true child of god because you will be restricted after the marriage blessing from unnecessary promiscuity and therefore everybody has now seen the importance of this even our brother the information officer brother ayo has followed suit so that you can now appreciate the importance of this, that some days away, he will bless his marriage, and others are expected to follow suit, so that you will be able to adapt yourself to this situation. If you not do this thing, you will have yourself to blame, so that you will be able to prune yourself completely, abstain yourself, absorb yourself completely from all problems. I have come, I have showed you these truths. If you want it, then it is, up to you to do it. But now, our Lord Jesus Christ, when he ever completed his teachings, said, those who have ears, let them hear. At this time, I have repeated the same thing. Since the Father has brought us to this extent, he now says, let those who have ears hear, may God bless his holy words now and forevermore. Amen.
Only my children go stay. Only my children go stay. 